5.4 million. The bid is still with Kimberly online in the room. It's now or never if you want to come in. 5.4 million with Kimberly Pearl on the phone. Are we all done? Fair warning at $5.4 million sold. Sotheby's hosted Grails Part 2 yesterday, auctioning off more NFTs seized from bankrupt crypto hedge fund 3 Arrows Capital in what is being touted as the largest ever live auction of digital art. Joining us now is Michael Buhana, Sotheby's head of digital art and NFTs. Michael, welcome back to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. Tell us about what happened last night. Generative artist Dimitri Cherniak's The Goose NFT sold for a hammer price of $5.4 million and a full price of $6.2 million. Were you surprised? No, I think we knew that it was going to attract a lot of uh, interest. Um, uh, we can't deny that there is a rebound of interest, especially for generative arts, uh, for many reasons. And when we bring so far, when and in the context also of the three AC, these Grails sales series, uh, every time we brought some very high quality works in the market, there were the, de the demand was there. Um, this is a very I don't think there will be an opportunity like this for any buyers to acquire such an important um, generative artwork. So I'm not surprised that it takes uh, it takes two, three bidders to 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 go up to to that um, to that numbers. You know, the art was previously owned by 3EAC co-founder Suzu and Kyle Davies. Do you think this had something to do in driving the price up? You know, the, the 3AC story is almost an infamous one in the crypto story, the crypto journey now. Do you think that had something to do with it? I think it's part of the provenance and it's on the blockchain. When you look at the provenance of this work, it's where you can retrace the 3AC story, also the Sotheby's Grail sale history and uh, the image, the, the video you just shown of the, um, of the auction itself. It's also now part of the, 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 the history of this work. And it's, it's very important, especially with the works and, um, works on the blockchain where, uh, the provenance is undeniable and, uh, and, uh, and part of it. So, uh, of course, I, you know, I, I assume you're somewhat following what's going on with regulators in the United States with, with the SEC specifically, uh, deeming a lot of tokens to be securities. Sotheby's has been auctioning for centuries, um, doesn't seem to have a problem with the things it's selling to be called securities. But here we're looking at potentially NFTs and the there's a possibility that perhaps the SEC might one day deem those to be securities the way it's behaving. Do you, Is there any concern at Sotheby's that you might be uh, forced to be filed as a as a securities dealer. I'm I'm sorry. I'm really like I'm focused on the art. I'm an art exp uh, contemporary art expert and uh, selling yeah, digital art. Uh, I have a great team um, uh, working with me around uh, uh, all these um, all these things. But I'm really focused in uh, in selling digital and generative art. You know, Michael. Some in the industry after we saw those. Big, big prices in 2021 said the days of the super expensive NFTs are behind us and the future of NFTs are really in utility and not art NFTs. How would you respond to those critics? Uh, I think like we... NFTs may be misused sometimes in the sense that um, we sold generative artworks and generative art been there since the 1960s. It's always been uh, impacted by the different innovation we've seen, uh, especially uh, of the tools that uh, the artists could use in order to create uh, generative artworks. Uh, the blockchain been definitely one of the biggest innovation for generative artists. It has brought like this whole new generation of artists and with it also a new generation of collectors. Um, so, like, I don't, like, I think there is many different categories in NFTs, some that include utilities, uh, some that are uh, also different categories of art with digital art, uh, with the PFPs, um, but they, they, have, they all have a very different uh, use case and especially with generative art and with the exhibition, we've done an exhibition in our headquarters at Sotheby's where uh, many works were exhibited and uh, 
um, with dig digital ads can be very challenging in displaying uh, the works, but this time we had great feedbacks from traditional collectors understanding a bit, uh, understanding the, the value of owning these works and, and probably also to display them in their home and, uh, and uh, become a collector of uh, digital art and generative art. So you, you mentioned, of course, generative art being around for a while, and, and the first thought I had is Saul Lewitt, of course, you know, with his instructions on how on how to produce his art, but it didn't act. It wasn't the actual art; it was just a list of instructions, and and each uh, each place had to basically create it on its own if they wanted to show it. Um, do you see that as potentially uh, going on it, the, specifically this sort of uh, pre digital era? Uh, generative art, but also even physical art. Uh, are you finding any uh, interest at all in turning those into either uh, digital versions or, um, you know, is there any, you know, are you working with some of these older uh, copyrights, if you will, to then have them turned into more digital uh, 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 products? Yes, I think the, the the NFT also brought us to um, this very interesting um, use case in which a physical item can also uh, be paired with a uh, NFT and help with the transfer of ownership or with many other uh, services that um, with the NFTs could be easier even for authentication. Um, and this is something we look at. It's still very early on, this, uh, the, the, this concept. We don't know exactly how it will look like. Uh, uh, but for our business, we trade. We trade. Um, we are some. We are. We are the leading uh, auction house in trading many objects, going from luxury, uh, fine art, uh, old masters. Uh, um, there are many components that could be. There, there is many elements that could be enhanced by the use of the blockchain technology. Michael, thanks for joining us this morning. It's always a pleasure having you on the show. The pleasure. Thank you very much for having me. That was Michael Buhana, Sotheby's Head of Digital Art and NFTs.